big, the Atlantic, isn't it? Far too big. And too deep. Much, much too deep. I don't care a bit, do you? Not a scrap. Wouldn't it be awful if a magician came to us and said, unless you count accurately every single fish in the Atlantic, you die tonight? We should die tonight. Mm. How much would you mind dying, I mean? I don't know, really. A good deal, I expect. Mm. I don't believe I should mind so very much now. You see, we could never in our whole lives be happier than we are now, could we? Mm, darling, there are different sorts of happiness. Yes, but, but this is the best sort. Sweetheart. Mm. Oh, don't, darling, we, uh, we don't want any more of the stewards to know we're on our honeymoon. Well, why not? It gives them so much vicarious pleasure. Most of them have forgotten what it was like. <laughs> Are all honeymoons like this? Exactly. Oh, Edward. That's rather disheartening. I, I do so want this one to be unique. And it is, for us. Did you ever think when we were children and going to the zoo and to the pantomime and playing soldiers that we would ever get married? Oh, of course I didn't. Was I nice as a child? Horrible. Oh, well, so were you. <laughs> and so was Joe. He was vile. You always took sides against me. Oh, and yet we all liked one another, really. I think I liked Joe better than I liked you, but then, oh. then he was younger and he was easier to manage. <laughs> dear, dear <laughs> Joe. He was funny at the wedding, wasn't he? He's a ripple little beast. <laughs> He has no reverence, I'm afraid. Absolutely none. No, he's passing gallantly through the chorus girl phase now, isn't he? Gallantly, but not quickly. Mm. <laughs> well, darling, you took your time over it. No, no, it is. I mean, you had several affairs before you married me, didn't you? The light you? of my life shut up. You'd be awfully cross if I had, wouldn't you? Had what? Affairs, love affairs before you. Did you? Hundreds. No. I rather wish I had, really. Perhaps I should have learned some tricks to keep you with when you're tired of me and old. Uh, I never shall be tired of your tricks or no tricks. Yes, you will. One day you're bound to. People always do. This complete loveliness that we feel together will, will fade and... So many years and the guilt wears off the gingerbread and... Just the same as the stewards, we should have forgotten what it was like. Answer me one thing truthfully, Miss. Did you ever see gingerbread with guilt on it? Never. <laughs> the whole argument is disposed of. Anyhow, look at father and mother. They're perfectly happy and devoted and always have been. Mm. But they had a bit of chance at the beginning. Things weren't changing so swiftly. Life wasn't so... Restless. Well, how long do you give us? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Edward, I don't care. This is our moment, complete and heavenly. I'm not afraid of anything. This is our own for forever. Uh, do you think a nice warming glass of sherry would make it any more heavenly? Oh, you have no soul, darling. But I'm very attached to you.